What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Hunter Comics. We got another CGC unboxing. This is honestly like part two of either three or four parts of my recent stuff that I just sent to CGC. But I have to make a video because I put a couple on eBay and a couple already sold. So I gotta get them shipped out. And if I don't do a video now, you're never gonna see them. So here they are. I am putting these all up on eBay. I'm not bringing these to the claim sales or the antique shop. I always forget about my eBay page and I, I do need to feed it some stuff. So if you want it, hop on eBay, you'll be able to find this stuff. First up, and who's gonna get this sent in for the Michael Keaton signing? We've got the official movie picture adaptation of obviously Batman. 1989. Very awesome. That's the prestige format. There's two covers of those. This is the one that's ever so slightly more common, uh, but 9-8 white pager. Not bad. Let's keep it going. Next up, we have Deadpool. There's a lot of stuff going on here. First appearance of the Black Swan, and frankly, there's a bunch of other stuff. Now, as you'll see, every single Deadpool book I sent in got the 9-8, except for this one. So I kind of wish I ended up submitting all the keys for that run, because that ended up doing really well. Here's the first, not the first, but a classic and I think second appearance of Punisher versus Deadpool. It's just a classic cover, a classic battle, and that's up on eBay. Now, I do have the first meeting of Punisher and Daredevil. I love this book, always have, uh, but it is a scarcer because that particular Deadpool run was a little bit of a scarce run, especially after a little while into it. Man, I wish I submitted every single book from this. I really wish I submitted all the Deadpool keys. I might, I might just have to. If I have anything, any of them left, I'll have to see if I still have them. This is one of two books that I put up on eBay that actually already sold, which is forcing me to go ahead and do this video. I wanted to wait till next week where the other batch came in to do one video, but like I said, this book sold, so I gotta get it out. eBay, when something sells, they, they're on you to ship it like the next day, so I gotta get that moving. That is Justice League America 70. It is the first arc of the funeral for a friend, but also it's the rare third printing. The second printing is already more rare, but the third printing is kind of a nightmare to find. It's one of those DC books from the 90s where the later printing is more money than the first printing. So that one is, did that one sold within about four minutes of putting it up. Pretty crazy. I think I sold it a little too low, whatever. Green Lantern 59, this is not for sale, this is a keeper, but I'll tell you what, if I find my direct edition of 59, I'll put that up for sale. This is gonna replace that version. This is the multi-pack Toys R Us pack edition. I have tried to get this particular 9.8 several times. I'm very glad to see that it finally got it. So that is a personal collection book through and through. Unfortunately, I did get a 9.6 on this. I was hoping for a 9.8, whatever. Uh, I'm selling it. Uh, my 90s volume three, as they call it, run is completely 9.8 or nothing. So this one is gonna go. I've been trying to get for a while. It's near the very, very end of the run. I just like the cover. I need them all and it's one of the more elusive ones. So I finally got that. That's not for sale. Just plugging away a little bit more at the Green Lantern collection. I also got this one, 173. So another one for the PC. This one unfortunately did get a 9.6, so this one's gonna be for sale. Hopefully I'll keep going and I'll try to get the more later. It's tough to find 9.8 copies of stuff like that. It's really tough. Uh, then we have Batman 533, love it. Uh, did get the 9.6. Actually all my Batman DC multi-pack Toys R Us pack editions appear to have gotten the 9.6. Whatever. Obviously, I was hoping for a 9.8. The 9.8s command quite a premium, but that's okay. Uh, they are all gorgeous in their 9.6s. And as I've mentioned many times on this channel, the 9.6 and the 9.8 is almost indiscernible to the naked eye. You can't really tell the difference. But let me tell you something. Financially, it makes a difference. Let's keep it going. Last of the multi-pack editions, uh, Detective Comics. Again, guys, this is all up on my eBay. And uh, then we do have a Green Lantern 9.8, one of the ones I'm missing. So this is a PC book that's not going anywhere, 1986. And that actually nicely completes a run. I had like, what's it, like 170 all the way to like 210 and I was only missing one 9.8 and it was this one. So that plugs a nice hole in that collection. 
Uh, then we've got uh, first appearance, first Magic the Gathering comic book. I recently got three 9.8s. Looks like this one is going to get the 9.6. Just makes it a little bit more affordable. Then we have the rare second print of Superman 76, which is Funeral for a Friend Part 4. The 9.8s of this in second print aren't that bad. They command a nice value. Second printing, not the largest value there. Obviously, I wish I got the 9.8. What are you going to do? Speaking of 9.8 to 9.6 jump, first of all, the 9.8 of this book is quite down, but a 9.6 is shockingly affordable, and it's basically the cost of what it is to get it graded. So, not making any money on that one, that's for sure. Marvel Fanfare 11, first appearance of Iron Maiden. Now, one of the best books from the whole batch is in 1992, DC Comics did an Action 1 reprint. There's two of them, though. One of them is a dollar reprint, and it shows a dollar here, but there's a very small percentage of these reprints that actually have the original cover, the 10 cent. They actually caught it and switched it over to the dollar pretty early on, so if you actually get the 10 cent variant, that's got a nice value attached to it, and it got the 9-8 white pages, so I have the 10 cent identical to how the book looked like back in 37, Action Comics number one. That's pretty sweet. That's actually like a $300, $400 book right there. So that's that's a hell yeah. And then we've got two copies. Here's a $200 book right here. That's Batman 497, the third and toughest printing to find. These only came in the Toys R Us packs. And furthermore, I happen to know that they were always placed near the end of the pack, so they always had a certain wear that would come from being at the very bottom, and you can't get the 9.8 on this book without pressing. If you ever thought pressing was required or not required, this is the proof. You can't get a 9.8 on this book without working on it. Glad to say that the press on this definitely did its job. Third printing, I had three total. Uh, last year I sent one to CBCS, it got the 9.8. Both of these did not. These were the two that got rejected from CBCS. I thought a uh, further press would do it, because, like I said, the only thing was like a window indentation, not a spine tick or anything like that. And I thought that could be pressed. I sent it to my guy, and he got it out. Book looks perfect. It looks like a 9-9. So great job on that. And that leaves me with two Batman 497 third printings. Not bad. I wanted to wait until next week when I was getting even more stuff in, but this stuff has to go. You can find it all on eBay. I will see you guys on the Saturday, not Sunday, but Saturday claim sale. Yeah, Sunday football's throwing a wrench into what I'm doing here, but that's okay. We're going to adjust. We're doing our claim sales on Saturday. I'll see you then. Keep on hunting. See you next week. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.